What's happening everybody? We're back with the letter and we're going to continue where we left off. If you haven't seen the other episodes, go check them out. They're up on the channel. Watch episode 1, part, and then watch episode 2, which got split in two parts, and then 3, which is in two parts. So watch those, and I was sure in, I'm going to shorten the episodes, so you could watch them. It's easy, It's not too long to watch, and then... It's going to be in several days when they come out. So, let's continue where we left off with the letter. Morning draws bright and the clear and clear the following day. <clears throat> let's continue. Although the air still feels muggy and I miss the chilly autumn winter weather, it's one of those rare weekends when I'm up even for, before my alarm rings. If it wasn't for Zach's call last night, I'd probably sleep in. When I night, <coughs> oh, when nine a.m. rolls around, I'm ready to on my way. I'm already on my way to the Emmer Emmer Garden Mansion, Emmer Guard Mansion. To think that I've had to go back again, I'd be lying if I say I'm excited. I don't have to anymore. Rose happily gave me paperwork duty when I volunteered. We're on the last phase of the sale too. Well, almost. Papers are signed, documents are finalized, to finalize various other legitimate legal legal amenities, leg, legitimities to settle with the current owner and all that stuff. Never mind that its new owners want the want everything done within the week. When the process typically typically takes more than that, they want it done. Well, get it done. I really, really un don't understand rich people. But money can do wonders. I won't be surprised if they'll be able to push the process just a little more. Like what they did the, to secure the house. The point is, I'm under no obligation to return to the house anymore. Running is an option, of course. I can now move on to, the, to another property and forget everything. However, at the end of the day, it's always my conscience that wins. What if something happens to those who have seen the letter? Ash, Zach, Becca, Miss McCulloch. The rights, the guilt will follow me to the grave. The mansion looms as we approach. Whispers, welcome me back, shadows calling. <laughs> I hope this is the last time. Time to see the ghosts. Let's see if we can kick its ass. They are engaged in, quiet, in a quiet conversation when I find them in the mansion's front gardens. But even with familiar company, it's impossible to feel at ease here. Remember the first episode when we were there with a bunch of people and we started seeing shit. So, even with two people, it's not going to feel very comfortable either way. That place is haunted and it's cursed. Let's see what happens. No matter who I'm with, the feeling of being watched is there. Like the very place itself is aware of its trespassers. Zack, on the other hand, doesn't seem to notice. Or he simply doesn't care, or he already he's already used to it. I could never tell with him. Sometimes, sometimes, he's almost as hard as to read as Ash. Almost. At least Zack doesn't have, ask for as much patience as dealing with Ash does, and that says plenty about him. Miracles of miracles, how the two ended up be the best of friends. He waves at me as I approach. True to his promise, Zack has also brought his friend with him. Father Norman. Somehow I expected him to look older. Oh, don't be surprised. They say people who have found their calling are getting younger these days. They're calling? What the heck are you talking about? Oh, man. Oh, Sorry, they're Father. calling. I didn't mean to say Never that mind. out loud. Ah. No offense taken. <laughs> Though, I admit, I'm a bit surprised. I didn't think someone would ask this house to be blessed after all these years. What do you mean, after all these years? You've heard of it, Father? In passing. The occasional rumors and talk by the locals, nothing new. You don't spend years serving the church here without hearing a random hearsay here and there. You never mentioned what you thought of those, Father. Hmm. Ah, but he who goes down to the grave does not come up. He shall never return to his house, nor shall his place know him anymore. Huh? But what I saw... 
What I saw was a girl, a girl or a woman, ghost, that's after me. It wants to attack me, and it's a curse. It's bad. It's bad. I need to get rid of it. All right? It may not be what you think. It depends entirely on what you mean by it. If you're talking about spirit beings, angels, demons, then yes. I don't know what it is. Are we talking about the spirits of people who have departed? <coughs> the word makes it clear that once the deceased has left us, they are gone. <laughs> but of course, I didn't come here to bore you with a lecture. Well then, deal with the problem. It was enlightening, Father. Thank you. Just remember that a god who loves his children would never let them linger once the time comes. Hmm. That's what my papa often tells me. My papa. Your father remember, must be papa's man. sick too. He raised you well, no doubt. So we're trying to... The money we made from the mansion, we're trying to be able to send the money, most of the money, to the family. So they can live a better life. Well then, shall we? Regardless of what it is, I'm sure the mansion's new owners would appreciate such sincere intentions. From a stranger, no less. He left. He let Zack and I talk. Walk ahead. A relief. This way, he won't. He won't see how tightly I'm clutching the straps of my bag. Father Norman's probably trying to put me at ease, but to the worried, the cold, restless, for foreboding feeling has firmly lodged itself in my stomach, making its presence known with every step we take towards the house. Hey, you okay? Heck no, I'm not okay, man. This shit is scary. We're gonna mess with spirits. Zack lightly nudges my side, careful, mindful of his motions to avoid startling me, no doubt. This place gives me the creeps, it's nothing. No, like I said from the very beginning, we're gonna be straight up honest. It's hard to lie when Zack gives you that look. It's just there. The kind that implores, a silent appeal. I'm not sure if he's even doing it consciously. Another breeze blows, and I try not to shiver, try not to listen. To the men, to the voices that may or may not be there. Ugh, this place really gives me the creeps. It doesn't seem more than an ordinary house to me, though. Some things man was never meant to tap I was. I still hey, remember that from the, the Ninja Turtles. Room. I saw a few areas that'd be good for a shoot. Uh, have you not seen the recent horror movies where they have a cameraman and then he's actually... Oh. You've seen those movies. I, I've seen those movies. Quarantine and Cloverfield. Monsters. Ah, ah, oh. Think the new owners will allow it's more scary because it's like right in front of your face. It's like first person view. Shh. What if you catch something? Or someone in one of the... Ah, oh, you're giving me the goosebumps. I'm shivering. What the freak? <laughs> it just means they want to be seen, doesn't it? Ah, oh, don't... Don't fuck with demons. <laughs> Don't ask for it. See, even she knows it. It's not like we can stop them if they do. Shut up, man. You're really not helping, Zach. You're making it worse. Trying to make it into a horror movie, like that one movie called uh, what's it called uh, I don't know what what. I know the name. Grave Encounters. Yeah, it was that one. All right, all right. Sorry. Don't worry. I don't think whatever's inside this house will do anything. That's what you think. But I've seen it. Yeah? I'll take care of them. Or I think I can. You think you can? You're not that scary, but thanks. I'll be sure to run behind you if I see one. <laughs> Ridiculous. Ridiculous talk. Though the temporary reprieve it lends is more than welcome. He offers me a smile in return, the least he could do, and with a slight motion of his head, he gestures for us to move ahead, while my own ear, my own fears are left forgotten for the time being. The things inside my bag clatter softly against each other while I rummage for the keys to the mansion. I should have heard the tell, tell jiggle by now, but didn't I put it in my bag last night? Seconds later, I'm sitting on my heels. And one after another, I'm taking out everything from every pocket, every slip. It'll be a pain to put everything back later, but I'm sure it's just under these. Nothing. Oh, um, oh man. Of all the times to give, to forget. Is something the matter? Yes, I forgot something. No, I, I, I'm sorry, Father. I think I left the key. 
no use coming up with excuses and right be after they've both taken the time to go this far away from the city. With a heavy sigh, I grabbed the door handle to pull myself up, a string of apologies ready to at the tip of my tongue. Careful, Bella! We have spoken with the current owners. Well, technically, you were not yet the owners, but... What? Who's there? There's a brief moment of confusion, and then I'm falling. The moment of the door swinging open pulls me back first in, into the mansion's foyer, foyer before I can make sense of what's happening. Ow, 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 my back. <laughs> oh, I'm just busting my own ass every time. What the? Isabella? Yellow. No time to nurse my brain, my bruised back, and make up excuses because the next thing I know, Zach's gently pulling me up right by my arm. Rose looks down at me, looks down at me with a mixture of apprehension and something I couldn't quite place. I'd say it's a relief, but ah, she should go. Good going, Isabella. Right after you volunteered to work on the papers and standing behind her. Ma'am Hannah, Mr. Wright. Oh, Isabel. We always meet in the most interesting circumstances. Ah, shit always goes wrong. <laughs> A complete understatement, darling. Ah. What are they doing in my house? Abruptly, he waves his hand at Zack and Father Norman like their presence is a slight against his own. I thought you said you wanted to do paperwork duty. What are you doing here? What do you think? We're gonna beat up the ghosts. Or at least make it, make it find peace or something. I don't know. Like a deer caught in the headlights. Unfair, Rose. You're, that's putting me on the spot, and it leaves me with no other choice but to answer. I. Uh, the reason why I'm here. Well, spit it out, Lily. We don't have all day. You call me by my name, you bastard. <laughs> Everything is fine before you move in. Why why would you lie? I am sorry. I'm so sorry, Mama. <laughs> you said I'll go I'll go to hell if I lie. I likely will after this, but there's no other way. Well, it isn't entirely a lie. I am here to make sure no one disturbs them after they move in. It just so happens that what I'm checking for and trying to drive away is of is of the paranormal variety. Oh. The house appears impeccably fine to me. Mr. Wright shifts his eyes around in a cheerful manner, as if he's looking for faults in every crevice of the house. The grin of his, on his face, though, when he returns his attention to me, is similar to what my Kuya Jordan had often given me when he was up to something. Usually a scare prank that inevitably ended up ended in me crying. I never did forget wh why the why my brother sneered at me then. A part of me that thinks that perhaps if I hadn't been the object of his mischief in childhood, I would have grown a little braver. <laughs> Come on, little Lily. Lying doesn't do that cute little face any justice. I'm a very patient man. Now, why are you really here? Fine. I'll tell you, you freaking asshole. Right now, in the face of an almost identical expression, perhaps even crueler than what I'm used to, the lie I've told falls apart. The truth, the truth is, I was just thinking we could have the house blessed b before move-in day. And why would we ever need to have this house blessed? F for luck and protection. I shrink under his. Scrutinating gaze. For a second, I thought that he'll start. He'll start shouting at me. In, instead.